Hey, welcome to another episode of Drawing Through John. I'm Steve Thomason, and I'm so glad to have you here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the Comic Draw app to create the pages for my graphic novel, A Cartoonist Guide to the Gospel of John. And it's been a couple months since I've been, done an episode in this Drawing Through John series because we've been building this brand new studio. I'm super excited to uh, do this episode here, the first one from my new studio, super fun. I'm gonna sit right here at this drawing table and on that iPad, I'm gonna show you this amazing app called Comic Draw. So let's dive in. So I'm making these uh, graphic novel pages in an app called Comic Draw. So I'm gonna open up Comic Draw and you tap once to open up the file and it gives you options where you can actually preview it which is pretty cool it gives you these pages you can uh, preview the pages that you've got going on that's really neat i'm going to close that um, if you tap on it once if you tap it on a second time it will actually open up the document and you can see there's two parts to it there's the page itself and then there's the script and so what i do is i i write my script in um, in the Logos software, and then I paste it here into the script feature. Now you can either choose to show just the comic page, you can show just the script by itself, or you can show them side by side. And the cool thing about the script is that it, if you type panel with a colon, it recognizes a new panel. If you do CAP with a colon, it recognizes a new caption. And then any word that has a colon after it it will show up as a word balloon and you can just drag that and drop it anywhere on the page. It's, it's a really cool feature. So I'm going to delete that. So you've got your script here and so so far in the Gospel of John project I've already mapped out that there's 24 pages and so you can have multiple pages in one document so uh, you've got this little index for, so you can uh, go to any page you want and you can see how the script scrolls along with it that's pretty cool so so far I have completed uh, five pages in total and I have sketched out all the way through page 12 so you can navigate it through it that way you can also flip through the pages like this um, so let me show you uh, I'm gonna come to this page and show you the different layers so we've got uh, just kind of an overview of how the Comic Draw app is laid out. There are three basic components to it. The first one is this top layer that is a vector based layer that allows you to put in the word balloons. And so like I said before, you can take from your script, you can just drag a dialog box, drop it in here. You can manipulate around um, the, the tail. You can come up here and I have some pre-formatted dialogue formats that I've created, or you can individually go in and you can uh, change the kind of speech bubble that there is. Maybe I wanna go to a rough one or a whisper. Um, I can come back here. I can change the text. I can you know, change the font to, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different fonts on here uh, that are preloaded and you can change the size of the font, you can change the line spacing, you can change the color of the font, uh, you can change the justification of the font, how it fits in the word balloon, the inset margins, you got all kinds of tools that you can just uh, modify these fonts. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that one because I've already laid out this page. So that's this top layer where you do all your um, layout with word balloons and text. Now this middle layer is an art layer. And inside of this art layer, it's basically like Photoshop where you, you start off with just one layer and then you can add layers to it, uh, as many layers as you need. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. And then down here, there is a a section called the sketching layer and this allows you you can see how you can see the lettering kind of uh, faint 
If I come up here, you can have layers within your sketch section. But right here it says letter opacity. So this allows you to see what your lettering looks like, but if you don't want to have it in your way, you can make it really faint so you can still see the basic layout, but it's easier to sketch. Now what I've done here is I've got uh, two layers going in this sketch space. I've got one that is my panel layout and the other which is the actual uh, sketches. Well, actually I have two different sketch layers, but you can see I can turn those layers on and off. Um, and then I have this panel layer. Let me turn off all three of these and create a new layer for just a second and show you a really cool feature of this app is over here on this side you've got all these tools. You've got your drawing tool which has brushes, you've got a smudge tool, you've got um, an erase tool, but if I choose the drawing tool right here it allows you to do like a if you have this mode you can do a free draw which is cool and then you've got this mode which allows you to do straight lines you've got this one which allows you to do boxes this one which allows you to do circles let me delete all of those but here's the one that I think is really really neat because comic draw is based upon creating comic books and graphic novels when you have this mode on it brings up a grid and allows you to create panels and it snaps to different grid lines so it's a super easy way to create a panel layout really quickly and I want to make my um, lines a little less bold boom and so I can lay out my panels however I want and that's what I've done on I'm going to just delete that layer and reactivate this layer. So you can see I've laid out my panels and then I have done my sketches in here. So if I'm on my sketch layer, let me just show you how this works. I'm going to go back to my free draw and you know you can just sketch away whatever you're drawing, which is just really really cool. So let me delete all that because I don't want those sketches in here. Um, snap it and you go back to full mode. So you've got the sketch layer and then when I come to this art layer uh, that sketch layer goes underneath it and I won't change that at all and I can um, come in here and I can choose um, pencils, inks, paint brushes, transfer of texture and they have a really nice inking brush so you could come in here and uh, over your sketch you could say okay whoops now I'm going to do my inking like that and you go ahead and do the inking now what I have discovered in, in, on, in all honesty when I started this Gospel of John project, I thought I'm going to do all of the artwork completely in Comic Draw app. And I started that way. I actually did all of the artwork for this page in Comic Draw. And you can see that you can get some nice uh, brush effects, like I painted this dude all in there. But quite honestly, I still like painting in Procreate better. And so let me show you what I the model that I've come up with is what I'll do is I will take my page and I will sh I'll just use this one that I've already finished you can take the page click that button hit share current page open in another app and I choose the PSD the Photoshop document as my way of sharing it and it creates a Photoshop document. Then I click choose how to send and I choose Procreate. And so it sends that Photoshop document to Procreate. I'll cancel out of that. And I just five finger swipe over here and you, sh you see that it's importing the document into Procreate. And I go to my gallery and there is the page that I just imported. 
and it has all of the layers that I created in the Comic Draw app intact. It's really a powerful tool. And so what, what will happen is, is I will bring over my uh, file that just has the, um, the panels laid out, and then I'll do my inking and painting in there. And I want to show you, and I already have this laid out, what, what you can do is you can just uh, hide all of the other layers and expose just one panel. And then what you do is you come down to the background and you turn off the background color. And so everything in the background is transparent. And if I come up here and hit Share in PNG format, it, and then hit Copy, it will copy that PNG file to my clipboard, and then I can come back over to uh, the Comic Draw app. Now I'm going to go to a page that doesn't have any artwork in it. If I go to the artwork layer and I press down on the Select tool and hit Paste, boom, it drops in the artwork and everything else is transparent. And so now I have a layer with just that artwork in it. And so what I do is I go back and I do the inking and painting in Procreate, then I come back into the Comic Draw app, and now I have all of my artwork on that layer, and then I can take my um, panels on this layer, and if I click and hit Transfer, it will take these word balloons and drop them into becoming an art layer and then I can do something with them in Photoshop later. So that's a pretty cool feature. This is how I am currently using um, the Comic Draw app in conjunction with Procreate to make these pages. Hey, thanks for joining me in this episode of Drawing Through John. I hope you learned something fun about the Comic Draw app, super powerful app, and how you can use it with Procreate and just the progress that I'm making on this project of a cartoonist guide through the Gospel of John. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, get updates for the progress that I'm making. Uh, go to cartoonistbible.com and check out all the pages that have already been made. All of the sketch pages have been posted and I've completely revamped the website so you can look at all of the other books of the Bible, the visual guides that are available to lead you through the scripture so that it can make more sense to you, become more accessible to you as I have drawing my way through the scripture. All right, we'll see you next time.